you know, just Well, my daughter go. didn't talk to me for, I don't know, a year and a half or so when Megan was living there. Yeah. Um, that, that whole scenario just blew mine and my husband's mind completely apart. I, he, he does not work. He got fired from, he used to work at First Data. It's like a credit card company. He got fired from there. He was dating my daughter. She got him a job where she is the controller of the company. She basically runs the company. And she got him a job as a project or a property manager, um, leasing apartments, basically. Well, come to find out, he was screwing tenants in lieu of rent. You know, poor girls who, you know, I, don't, I can't pay my rent, blah, blah, blah. Well, Megan was one of those girls. He ruined her marriage. And then her husband kicked her out. She had no place to go. And he brought her home to my daughter's townhome. And they weren't, you know, having a great relationship anyway. And she let this girl move in while they're screwing under my daughter's roof. It just blows my mind why she put up with this for so long. Well, you, and you, are you videos. Are you aware of what happened after she moved out? Well, I know that he was, like, stalking her, that I do know. Um, I, I know that she thought he was going to go with her, um, and he didn't go because of my daughter's money. My daughter owns both of those cars. They're hers. The house is hers. Everything he has bought, the, the drone, everything he goes to Best Buy, that's my daughter's money. He has her so far in debt, it's not even funny. Well, and it's funny, you know, he's trying to get his child support reduced right now. You know, he was yes, making... Yes, I know. I'm friends with his ex-wife. Oh, why would, would, you see if she'd, would, would, would you see if she'd like to do an interview? I can send her a message. I don't know if she would or not. That's fine. If she doesn't, that's okay. But, you know, ask her. And, and if she's interested, I'd love to do an interview with her as well. It's time that uh -huh. people know this guy was making $19,000 a month on YouTube up until up until he decided to challenge his child support. At that point... Well, then where's the money at? Because he, was blowing he hasn't it. been bringing it home. No, he was blowing it. He's buying guns. He's traveling, he's blowing it on women, um, buying PlayStations, and, and uh, uh, you know, just, it's, it's mind-boggling that he makes that kind of, was making that kind of money, and then just has nothing to show for it. But, but he doesn't yeah. need to. He can blow the money and uh, take care of him, so what does he care? Yeah, I know. It, it's, it, it breaks my heart as a mother. I mean, I raised her better. I just, I don't. I can't grasp what the hell is going through her head. Well, he's a he's a con man. Like I said, he conned he conned a bunch of us. It's not just her. You know, he's he's a good con man. He's good at what he does. And and that is what has put him in the position that he's in. But uh, Well, he's been lying to her for years. It, you know, he would say, I need to borrow your car, and then we've caught him out on dates with other women in the car, in my daughter's car. Well, This you, was before the Charger. You know, and, and, <laughs> and I've seen your daughter. She's very attractive, and, and I, I don't understand. She's smart. And she's, she's intelligent. Smart. Yeah, I, I believe she's intelligent. Very I mean, she intelligent. runs a business. She runs a she business. She just got so. her master's degree. She has a double master's in finance and human resources. She's very smart. Well, but when it comes to him, I, I just, I'm at a loss for words. Well, again, he's a good con man. You know, and, and women in love will put up with a lot. Put up with a lot. Do you, yeah, have, well, he, do you have Megan? You know, he has her convinced that, um, you know, he's her boyfriend, but yet everything, I'm divorced, you know, and all these other women. I just, I don't get it. Well, and, and the, the girlfriend that I did the interview with already said that the, that she was aware of Shan's just a friend and just lives there, but he was trying to get her to come home and have threesomes with him and Shan, 
and she said the final straw was when he wanted her to wear a dildo and and hit him in the butt Oh, my God. Yeah, he's just like that kind of a freak. I mean, that's just weird. It's bizarre. Well, she took care of him when he uh, was pissing blood, what, two months ago or whatever, a month ago. Yeah. And was in the hospital. I went up to that house while he was in the hospital. You should have seen the mess he left my daughter to clean up. It was disgusting. Well, you know, he's grooming a 19-year-old right now. She was 18 when he met her. And he goes and takes her to work every day and picks her up from work every day. Oh, I know day. all about her. And my granddaughter that lives there is 17. If he ever touches her, I have no problem going to jail over him. He hurts my granddaughter and he's dead. I, I think that is just bizarre that he, you know, he... I mean, what is a 41-year-old man doing hanging out with a 19-year-old girl anyway? And well, he, he tries to tell everybody that it's his oldest daughter guess friend no that the, the daughter isn't anywhere around so what is this 19 year old doing hanging around well and she was you up know? there at the, with him at the hospital and she's with him every day several times a day oh I know he's taking her to work but he don't have no money to pay his child support or whatever yeah, he's trying to he's trying to get disability and he's trying to get his child support cut down, you know. But yet he's this big family man, you know. I I I've been to jail. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna lie about it. I'll tell you the truth. I've been to jail, and when I got out of jail last time, I was eighty thousand dollars behind in child support. I paid uh -huh. that I paid that debt off in three and a half years. Uh huh. Well, the only child that he cares about is the son. And he tries to claim he's this big family man. Well, do you know that it's the one that drives one hour each way to pick AJ up? And she, I think she's attached to the kids. That's part of the problem. You know, she's the one who goes and picks the child up from the ex and brings him to her house to spend the weekend. And 90% of the time, he's not with his son. My daughter is. Yeah, that's a big family man, all right. And the other kids, the girls, he, he hasn't seen the girls in a while. Yeah, he's got four or five girls, I think. He's got like six kids with six different women. Wow. And the only one he bought foals with is the boy. And do you know, what? if you had to guess right now, what does he weigh right now? Well, he had weight loss surgery, but, to, you know, what? look what good that did. Didn't do anything. I've seen him sit and eat. He, he's probably hitting 600, 700 pounds. Uh, so what the number I keep hearing is 500. They say he's up around 500. He says he's like 300. No, he's not 300. There's no way. Maybe, well, maybe uh -huh. if he was sick and in the hospital and he just got out, it, it could be he lost some weight while he was in the hospital. Not that it matters. I mean, there are, there are people that medically have issues and are big. You know, I'm not, I, I sh I'm not trying to fat shame. Uh, no, but he sits and eats like an entire box of White Castle cheeseburgers for, you know, breakfast. And then we'll have, you know, a whole bunch of eggs with sour cream and salsa on it and, um you know, half a box of graham crackers with it. I mean... That's not very healthy eating. No. And his dad died what, two years ago, I think, from diabetes. And his mother's not as sick as he claims. She's depressed. But dying, no. So he just, after the sympathy. Yeah. Anything he can get. He likes to, you know, because when he had made the comment that his mother, you know, had a stroke and, you know, was dying, they didn't think she was going to make it. I spoke with the ex-wife and uh, Ken, and mom was fine, <laughs> you so, know. So he's lying publicly. You know that people were donating money to him so that he could travel and see his mother and 
and and spend time with her and 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 that well, sort of thing. Well, his mom only lives an hour away. <laughs> Man, I mean, he, you know, where we live, it's like West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Maryland, right in the nook there. I live in Maryland on the state line. They're 20 minutes from me in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Right, and, and, and I, I know where he's at. Uh, uh -huh. I know where he's at. He's he's trying to hide that. I recently uh, started to file a lawsuit against him, and the address that I was given by YouTube to serve him at was a fake address. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, and I just didn't pursue it. It wasn't worth my time and effort, so I just let it go. But well, the thing a couple months back when he was claiming people were harassing him, that was all, in my opinion, a big sympathy kicker. Trying, you know, he's got to have people focusing on him all the time. Yeah, they were. And I don't they were. They were. The they were exposing him online. They pulled up his criminal history. You know, mm -hmm. we. Yeah, we got his real name. Um, he lied about his name, and he's been lying about his name. He says, well, that's my... Oh, he still lies about his name. His Facebook page says it's Romero or Garcia. No, it's North. Yeah, yeah, and when we, we ran that, you know, the, his criminal history came up. And what he did was he came to Texas, and using that fake name, you know, to people that he conned into believing that was actually his name, um, he, uh, he purchased firearms, and then he took those firearms, he transferred those firearms back to Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, in my daughter's name. He had my daughter sign for them, is my understanding. Which well, he, he made the purchase. He made, my husband. he made the purchase, okay, which is a felony in Texas, and it's a federal felony as well. And then he transferred those across state lines which is another federal felony. Offense. Yeah. So why isn't he in jail, David? Uh, well, uh, people have notified ATF. I hear that people have. I haven't personally, but there have been some people that have notified ATF there, and I would encourage you to contact the local state police. And well, uh, my husband has. My husband, uh, okay. you know. He should, he should also contact the uh, ATF, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, and let them know, because Ben is, a, is, is considered a, what's called a sovereign citizen, okay? And the, and the FBI clarify, classifies sovereign citizens as domestic terrorists. So, uh -huh. and given his violent background, you know, how much do you know about his domestic violence charges? I know that he's hit his ex-wife. Um, I know that the girl that supposedly stabbed him, in my opinion, he provoked everything. My husband... Actually, when that girl got out of jail and went to Ben's place to pick things up, he was still dating my daughter at that time. This was before they moved in together and told my daughter to come and bring my husband because he was in fear for his life. My husband went up there to find out what was going on, and uh, he wound up driving this girl, I think her name was Jennifer Wood, home to her mother, I don't think she's crazy at all. The only thing she did wrong is she missed, in my opinion. Well, he prompted, he, you know, he prompted all of that. They had a fight over where to go to eat. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> he, he'll beat her up, gonna beat her up because she won't go to the buffet with him because she wants to go to, to someplace other than the buffet. I, that is insane. Well, what got me that I guess it's been about maybe two, three years ago. He had my daughter do a YouTube video apologizing for missing his own daughter's birthday and blamed it on his ability to remember the dates. It's his daughter, not my daughter's daughter. Wow. What they aren't married. They don't have a ring on their finger. You know, there's no, there's nothing legal between him and my daughter. And he made her do a video. He's got it. I, I, I wish I had downloaded it. But she looked so pathetic apologizing this birthday party. Wow. That is like emotional abuse to it was, extreme. That's when I realized he's like the cult leader, you know. It, it, it's, it's emotional abuse. My other daughter 
has had words with him. She's gone up there and gotten in Cody threatened to have her arrested. And she's like, go right ahead. And he didn't call the cops. Yeah. He's all talk. Well, we, we already know that. He had words with somebody on another YouTuber, and uh, uh, that YouTuber basically called him out, and he was scared. And then uh, uh, one of the girlfriends that I talked to that was being stalked by him after she left him, uh, she got Megan? a new... She got a new boyfriend. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to throw anybody in the mix. But well, Megan, Megan, uh, I know. You know, I don't. I don't understand why she was living there in the first place. But I really thought that. I think that she thought that he would go with her when she, when she finally had had enough and left. And she didn't. She didn't. He didn't go. You know, because she had the money. Yeah, he's not going to leave his gravy train. No, he's not. He's not. He's not stupid. Yeah, if he left, well, he wouldn't have a car. She'd take her. her well, the she's tried to throw him out, and his comment has always been, "I have no place to go." Well, that's not her problem. <laughs> no, it's not her problem. You know, he's a grown man. He can fend for himself. Um, I was mad yesterday because my granddaughter called crying because Ben threatened to put the pit bull down, which is my granddaughter's. And uh, didn't take it out to go to the bathroom for several hours. And the poor dog has problems with the mess to clean up. And he abuses my granddaughter emotionally, lies and says that, uh, you know, he did all this cleaning. Now it's my granddaughter. And then he, my daughter comes home and, you know, he takes the... You know, the praise, well, I cleaned the floor, or I changed the cat litter. No, my granddaughter did it. That's just, that's he, just narcissism at its worst. He, he's horrible. He's horrible. Well, and we know that, that he lives in a fantasy world. He thinks he's some kind of cartoon character hero. Uh, that's how he, he's always quoting things from uh, these uh, uh, different kinds of movies where you know, where we have these heroes and he quotes the heroes like he's one of them. Or or very powerful people like The Walking Dead. He he likes to quote Negan and carry a baseball. He's got a Negan-style bat that he likes to keep around. And, uh, you know, that's how he sees himself. But in reality... Oh, yeah, he had that 19-year-old girl here in Hagerstown going around with a bat trying to do an audit. And that, at 2 o'clock in the morning. Like, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And he, it's like, what in the world? She's, she is not an auditor. I mean, he is not an auditor. He's not a, a, a real activist that has any kind of field experience cop watching. And for him to be telling people how to do it and giving them advice is dangerous. Is absolutely dangerous. There is absolutely no justification for telling this 18-year-old girl, because she was 18 then, to go out uh -huh. with a baseball bat at 2 o'clock in the morning on, on the mean streets of Philadelphia doing audits. That is ridiculous. It's insane. And it is dangerous. Yeah, it is. It is. And you don't see him out auditing, though. He's terrified if he got arrested. My God. Oh. Uh, you know, I watched a little bit when he went to Texas. What was that, a year or two ago? A year ago. And, um... You know, he, he was petrified. You know, he tries to make himself out to be, you know, this big YouTube star, and then he backpedaled everything. And I know, I've heard of you. I know that he has praised you in the past, you know, about how great you, of an auditor you were or whatever. And, and then he turns around and, you know, anybody that doesn't agree with him, he's got to start, you know, Attacking and back. Yeah, attacking you. Yes. Yeah. Attacking you. Yeah. And and again, he I, doesn't like me. He he knows that I despise him. And well, you're not dr was, you're not drinking the Kool Aid, and that's dangerous no. to him. Because your daughter, yeah. at some point, if you if she hears it enough, she's going to start listening. Well, I've been praying for five years that she would wake up, and I really thought if I kept my mouth shut, that she would wake up. And I'm tired of keeping my mouth shut. I mean, she, he, he's killing her. He's got her so far in debt. He's ruined my poor granddaughter. 
I mean, she's, I, I just, my heart breaks for her. The last five years of her life have been pure hell. So he emotionally abuses the granddaughter? Yeah, oh, yeah. About her weight! Do you believe that? What does he say about her weight? Oh, about how fat she is. Um, you know, he's made fun of her. Unbelievable. All the time about her weight. He puts her down. She doesn't feel good about herself. She has very low self-esteem. My heart just breaks for her. Well, once again, this is the kind of grooming that that psychopaths do. Yeah. Oh, yesterday he threatened to kill her dog. Yeah. And she called my husband and I just bawling, didn't know what to do. And it, it breaks my heart. It, you know, but my daughter's 40. I, I have no control over who she has in her life. But I've made it very clear, my husband and I both have, that we don't agree with having him in her life or our granddaughter. I mean, he's... He's a lying, narcissistic psych. He's a sociopath. Well, and I'm going to get a... I've got a, a team psychologist that uh, that does stuff. He gives us, like... like um, He'll like look at a video and read the body language and give us feedback on it and and does counseling for some of us that that are suffering from PTSD and other things and uh, I'm gonna have him look at some of Ben's videos and give me a a an assessment of uh, of Ben. Well, I wish FBI would go into that house and take what he's got because I'm sure he's got some stuff that's illegal. It, there's no doubt in my mind. Well, the, the firearms, I can tell you, the firearms, I have the videos. I downloaded the videos of him at the range bragging about how he bought the that high point rifle and all this stuff. So, um, he used... What concerns me is that he used my daughter to get involved in that mess. You know, it, apparently from what I understand, is it, had my daughter sign for it? No, that's not what, that's not exactly what happened, but... Uh, Ben bought the bought the rifle, packaged it up, and then this other guy took it to UPS and sent it on. But I mean, like again, he didn't know that Ben was a prohibited person. Your daughter received the weapon and then gave it to Ben because Ben has done videos and I've downloaded them with the rifle at his home or your daughter's house. And he's oh, yeah. also he's also done videos of him with a handgun. Uh, I believe it was a Glock 19 at the desk, which is, again, he bought here in Texas. Now, he used YouTube, I mean, uh, uh, PayPal donations and YouTube money to do that, which means that they can seize his YouTube money and PayPal money uh, as asset forfeiture because it was used in the furtherance of a, of a crime. Well, I hope he gets what's coming to him. Well, and no, he does not... He doesn't work, David. He doesn't own anything. The townhome is my daughter's. He doesn't own any apartment complexes. My daughter runs a construction company that owns, you know, apartments and townhomes. But he doesn't own a thing. He doesn't even own a car. What he told me was he is a business partner in a family business and that you know, basically, he's a multi-millionaire from that business. Oh, he's delusional. I'm not the only one he's told that to. Well, yeah, it, the, the person that my daughter works for, yes, he is a multi-millionaire. My daughter works for him, and she is, you know, in the process of going into business with him. But Ben has nothing to do with it. Nothing. So... Basically, Ben's just a leech. He is a leech, yes. And he hasn't worked in over three years. Yeah, I looked up his work history. I, I did a, hit, a uh, background check on him, and he was a used car salesman for a little while. Then he worked for the credit card company, and I think that was the last job. That's the last job he had, yeah. And he got fired from there for lack of performance. And then the apartment managerial job? That he had for two months, my daughter gave him that job, and then when the maintenance man and the owner found out that he was screwing tenants in lieu of rent, 
he was fired. Okay. Megan was one of those tenants. Okay. Well, if and you, then she got kicked out and had no place to go, and he brought her home. And now he's trying to get on disability. Yeah, for what? Being lazy? Yeah, because he don't want to work. He don't want to work. There's nothing wrong with him. You know, other than he's a delusional fat liar, there's nothing physically wrong with him. Yeah, here, while, here just recently he was running around saying that he did a, a background check for the FBI and it passed and he was going to be doing a consulting work for them. And I just laughed. The oh, FBI is not... Full of shit. Yeah, the FBI is not hiring somebody that can't get a security clearance, okay, and he can't because of his domestic violence history. You know, it's, 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 it was all total BS and everybody with any common sense knew that. If he has a... Uh, Conviction for domestic violence, he is a prohibited person in the state of Pennsylvania from having a firearm, just like if he's a felon. And yeah, he, he, is, he is convicted. He got probation. Yeah, he pled guilty. Um, he pled guilty yeah. three different times. He has three, yes. three convictions. Yeah, and all that hoopla that he's trying to get things expunged, you can't expunge that. Well, you can expunge it from the public side, but not the law enforcement side, and that's what he did. He's, he was lying the other night on his live stream. He said that the he went to the judge, and the judge found him innocent and went ahead and took it off his record. No, no. You got it expunged. Some of it's expunged, not all of it, from the public side, and you are still a prohibited person because the way the law is written, it doesn't say, you know, it says if... You have ever been convicted of domestic violence. You are prohibited. Uh -huh. And he uses that. He thinks he's famous. I mean, he's got this, his sticker on the windshield of his car advertising who he is. Um, uh, you know, uh, his, yeah, his windshield, the license tag, the whole car is, yeah, it says black label. Yeah, it's all uh, ego for him. It's all about making himself out to be somebody. Because he spent his life being nobody. So how do you get proof that he made $19,000 a month? Um, I have recorded phone conversations with him where he was telling me how much he made. And I verified it via a place called Social Blade, which shows how much you make on YouTube. And, and he'll talk about Social Blade and say, oh, oh, you know, Social Blade gives a range of your income. Like, every month it'll say you earn between 12000 and $20,000. Well... My experience with Social Blade is that the numbers are correct, uh, that you will be in that range, and generally speaking, you are in the higher part of that range. So I was able to verify what he said he made via Social Blade. So it, he was making, um, I think December was the month he made 19000 Before that, he was making 16000 a month. Wow. That's a month. That's insane. Because th there's nothing to show for it. Yeah, I, I own my home. I own every vehicle. I have three vehicles. I own all of those. I support two, uh, two of my grandkids that are disabled. They're, they're, uh -huh. uh, you know, they uh, uh, have Asperger's and uh, Down syndrome. I support, uh -huh. I support both of them. And I do that from the money I was making off of YouTube. I was making about $15,000 a month. And uh, in March, I got demonetized, but I have enough money and savings to live off of for three or four years, even, uh -huh. even helping the grandkids. Ben, you know, what is he doing with that money? He's blowing it. I mean, I don't know, going to casinos. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe drugs. Who knows? But he's just, I, he's I, just smoking yeah. that money up like it's nothing. It, it's insane. Because my daughter is stuck with all of these bills that he has created. And his ex-wife, Ken, you know, that's what he does. He puts everything in the woman's name and, you know, runs up all this debt and then leaves.